Ahoy, mateys. Welcome back to our adventure through Narcosis. We left off traveling through the methane farm and dealing with a bunch of crabs. And we got in here, and now the place is scaring us. You know, great stuff, great stuff. So... We got to Compass 2. We're inside. And it's just as fuck so far. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, great, the suits again. So, um, we just, uh, partying up here, guys, enjoying ourselves. We, we, uh, having fun here. Just gonna make it another couple pass-throughs. Okay, uh, y'all starting to creep me out a little, so, um, someone won't appoint me to the exit? Dude, I just got us more oxygen. Don't waste it. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Not a fan. I'm good, bud. I don't want whatever you're selling. We're gonna go in here. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Wow, that's so helpful. Except I don't think a boat's gonna help us underwater. Genius. Nice reference, though. Alright, so that takes us up. There's a hello desk. You're very candid when describing some circumstances. Times when you felt crippled with fear, coming across the bodies of friends and colleagues. Yeah. It's clear you care, but there's an undercurrent of detachment in the way you present some of the more difficult moments. Was that your intention? No, I, I've heard that before. I just did my best to paint a clear picture. When it comes to empathy, there's no manual for that. Let's go refill our oxygen. Since we wasted so much of it in the suit room. Alright. So there's a lift. Let's go take it. I'm hoping we're close to the end here. Because, oh gosh, do I just want to be out of this place? Let us out. I'm gonna guess this door. Yeah, closed. More oxygen should we need it. So this doesn't lead us anywhere. Now what? Am I supposed to find like a key card down there? But it doesn't look like there's anywhere to swipe. Down we go. Oh, I completely missed this. In fact, I'll probably yell at myself in editing, like, hey, look, that door's open. You idiots. Alright. Oh, good, another dead person. What's up, bud? Alright. Let's take a look. Anders, as much as someone could be down here, I mean, we're all in it together. Anders was in charge, always on the move, checking up on people in progress and writing it all down. I found him in the hallway overlooking the, the meadow. Did he drown? Maybe methane exposure? I don't know. They say devil's in the details. Who can say? Either way, everything around, around here just feels off. Okay. I keep seeing the cracks and thinking it's a crab about to stab me again. It's gonna haunt me forever. We got all that. Let's do a quick refill. Just to be safe. Alright. Some cam. 
cameras. This game's supposed to take place in the future. <laughs> because that is like... What is today? The 9th of January. That is just under a month away. That is so creepy. Right, I'm not seeing anything on the cameras. I can't tell if that's like a uh, rock formation or a dead person. <laughs> All right. Cars. Smile, you're on camera. No, oh, fuck off. Shut up, suit. Shut up, suit. I have to ask again. Was it luck? <laughs> Conditioning. Conditioning and discipline. That's how I got down there in the first place. That's how I got out. It's about keeping tethered to the task. You don't let yourself forget about the reality around you. You can't. We're just gonna keep doing this, I guess. Love being stuck in a time loop. Evacuation bot. Oh gosh, this is so wild. I'm starting to see numbers in that one again. Just barely. Redo. Retrace. Moonwalk. Okay. Moonwalk. I don't know if it's supposed to be trying to tell me, like, hey, dumbass, turn around. I mean, maybe. I'll try one more time. So I feel like we're also getting, like, narrower vision. It's still leading us nowhere. Alright, you know what? Let's try going backwards. What's the harm, I guess? What? Oh, this is getting too crazy. Is that pee in a bottle? Oh, good. We're going on a warp tour. It's kind of sad we don't stick to the wall. Oh, this is getting wild. Oh, gosh. I thought the past one was bad. Again, kind of gross. I mean, I get it, but like, so gross. No, I need those. Guess we're going out. Oh, fuck! You fuck off. Fake out? What the hell? Yeah, okay, it was a fake out. I guess. Oh, what in the hell? I thought we were un underwater. Not in the bloody space station. This is tripping me out, too. Am I supposed to collect numbers? 
and go with them. Loving these motivational posters, though. Any number is important. Find the alive others numbers to find numbers. All right, well, we found six. So I suppose we keep staring at things until we find numbers. Subscription. Is there anything on it? No. Doesn't look like it. Depression! Phobia. Ooh. My spider is a go to. Evil squid fuckers. Word. Wait, one? Where's one? Wait, where did we find one? confused. Five. All right, maybe we have to go around. There we go. Five. All right, I think that's all of it. We got all our info back. Let's restore one more time just to be bloody safe. Just like the last one, where things totally didn't get creepy and weird. Hey, it was so far so good. I think that. You saw terrible things. And even if you made it to the surface, you couldn't count on being rescued. I mean, I'd have lost my mind. Did you ever feel like you were losing it just a little? No. When they found me, I'd been floating on the surface for at least five hours. I talked with therapists and trauma experts for months. Said I was hiding the hurt. But it's not true. I made mistakes down there, yes, but did I lose my mind? No. No way. Okay. I don't know what's keeping you sane. I would have definitely lost it. She actually got a cutter on. Oh wait, she cut herself to death, like get out of it. All right, let's check up on her. Alima Opene, Germany. Alima was determined to make her family proud. The first female rig manager I ever encountered. Maybe the bats. Now here she is, knife in one hand, pills in the other. Hell, heartbreaking. There's an undeniable dignity in accepting the inevitable, refusing to bargain. The youngest among us, and she didn't try to run. Like a captain going down with the ship. So I can't imagine any parent taking any pride in this kind of resolve. Not when it ends like this. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh good, the crabs are back. That's what I wanted. Alright, looks like it's just out there, thankfully. Go back here. Should I just go through that door right there? 
I don't like that there's a hole in the window that fucker come in, come in through. It's a bathroom. Some flares. I don't really need them though. Alright. I'll find out what to do next. I'm starting to become numb to the crab sounds, but they still freak me out. That's for damn sure. Alright. It's waiting on- oh no, I don't like that the camera's just right on her. Alright, you know, let's keep going a little bit, see what else we can get to. Sports through clear. Okay, so we died. All right, that's cool. Okay, what do we do? This nightmare end already. Hey, okay. Don't like this. Uh. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank you. This entire experience is defined by the fact that you came back alone. Your story started with twenty people, but ends with one. So when it comes to telling those stories, you're the only one who can. Yeah. There's a responsibility to get things right. For the record. Hmm. Uh, I don't like this. What the hell? What the frick happened in here? How did you get in? No! You fucking little shit! Stop. Yeah, it's 
right. Get out of here. Little asshole. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't like this. Alright, you're gonna help me, right? Good. I like this guy. They're cool. Can you fight crabs too, by any chance? It's terrifying to think that's what people used to come down in. And just connected a little hose to them and let them walk around. No thanks. Not in your lifetime. Ever. Nope, 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 nope. Oh good, the frozen... What? Alright. Whee! Whee! Oh god, I have to dodge these lights, don't I? Okay, so we touch the ground and we fucking die. I guess we have to avoid those lights, though. Oh, I don't like this. Or are they just no big deal? Oh, this is weird. I guess it's a good thing we don't have to avoid the lights because that just seems like a horrible task. Not try it in reverse. Welcome back, my friend. All right. Why is there no light? Why can't I see? This is messed up as hell. Why are we back in here? Welcome back to Open Air. I'm Emily Kaler. If you're just joining us, my guest is Kip Mattis, sole survivor of the Oceanova disaster. His first book, Hell or High Water, is a harrowing account of his ordeal. Earlier, we talked about the life aquatic, escaping the flooded habitat, and being lost on the seafloor inside a half-ton titanium diving suit. Are we at the end of the game? I guess so. Kip, I know this might not be easy, but I'd like to talk about the end. Can you read that for us? Yeah. The list is getting shorter. 
The hatch opens with its usual reluctance, flooding the room with light. The pod is there. I'm going home. Tomorrow I'll be the sole survivor. But for now, I'm not alone. You mean we're not alone? Or is it the fact that we don't know that we're alone? How did you feel when you figured it out? At that point, and that close, I was running on fear. So when I saw another suit in the room, it's almost too much to process. I couldn't believe that it was... Virgil? Is that you? Virgil made it. Just like me. How did you get... I thought everyone was... Only I'm locked inside the pod and he's locked out. Can you hear me? I can't stop the launch. There's no override. He's not coming back. Oh, God. I'm sorry. And that's on me. There is seconds to the evacuation. So are you saying that if you did something differently, that Virgil would have lived? That's right. Until I saw him, fear in his eyes, I thought I was the only one. It was a bad call. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh... You didn't kill him. Really? Who did? Bad luck? I'm responsible. Look, I'm up here talking with you. And he's still out there. Diver friend. I don't think I have much control in which direction. I'm just kind of following this guy. Is there someone else who got trapped down here and died? Another ending to this game? Yep, that's the ending. We're just gonna walk until the credits end, I guess? Alright. Wild. This was such a crazy experience. Like, this is so much of things that terrify me. Like, I do not like the idea of going, like, being a diver, going down to the ocean. I don't like the idea of being in the ocean for that long anyway. I've been in, like, Atlantic Pacific, and I just, like, I go shore, I go a little offshore, that's about it. So this, like, especially this idea that you're trapped down here and just wandering around is just horrifying. I have to try to follow you. Yeah, holy crap. I think this was pretty damn good. I mean, it is, like, I guess what would be called, like, a walking simulator, like, Gone Home or something like that. 
that's done in a really horrifying way. Um, I think it was done pretty damn well. And, like, it's such an interesting concept, because, like, I think I mentioned it a couple times throughout the series, but it's just, like, you don't, like... Like, there's nothing really added to make this super much spooky, other than, like, the occasional, like, jump scare from the suits. But, like, the, you know, the creatures coming at you, the, the idea of just being underneath the water and dealing with creatures, like, attacking you. That's stuff that I imagine you could would have to, like, endure if you were just in the ocean. I don't know if it would be to the degree of this, but... I just... Very scary. Very scary. Kip, it's been more than a year since all this happened. You wrote a book and told your story. Are you ready to be done? Yeah, yeah. It's time to move on get myself working again. Kip Mattis, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thanks for having me, Emily. Grandfather's diving career ended before I was born, but even though I... Oh, so that's the diver of all the way. Even though I knew those stories by heart before learning to read or write, I have just two memories of him in water. And first, I'm old enough to walk with just learning to ride. I stop to picnic in a scarlet field. A small pond catches my eyes, and then I'm falling. I'm down. I'm drunk, I'm sure. But two seconds later, his hands on me, pulling me up. The next day, I'm starting to swim. I'm 11 again. In my dreams, grandfather shakes me from my sleep. Silently, I help him don the tools of his trade. So frail a husk. The copper helmet alone should have been too heavy to bear. But somehow, to my bedroom and the beach, my ragged suit restores the ragged man. The water's edge, he pushes his fingers to his lips, then points to the neck at his waist. An antique that's lost its luster. Its edge. With strength and purpose I've never seen, but always known, he cuts the ties that bind us and strides into the sea. Well, thank you so much for joining me, ladies. I hope to do more fun games like this in the future. I hope you have a good day. Bye.